Welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Ravelry, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Sunday, the 1st of March, 2018, and this is episode 8. How was your week? Mine was so good. Oh, here comes the co-host. On Tuesday, my sister and I took all of the kids except Mara to a Red Wings hockey game, which was a lot of fun. Mara stayed the night with Grandma because I figured she would like that better than going to a hockey game. And the game was not a great one. Both teams were terrible. We lost one to four, but that's okay. <laughs> there were some hilarious... Um, New Jersey Devil fans behind us and it was it was a really great time it was a lot of fun even though it was awful and then while we were there we got a text from the school saying the next day was going to be a snow day which was nice because then we didn't have to leave the game early the game started at 7 30 and technically there's an hour of playtime total but then there's two 20 minute intermissions and we were going to be there for a long time. We were going to leave. We got the text. We didn't leave early. We stayed for the whole game, watched the whole disaster. It was so fun. And then a snow day on Wednesday and a snow day on Thursday. So administration first. Let's do that. Um, May, March officially starts today. So if you have a languishing project, um, go ahead and pick it up and work on it during March for whatever amount of time. I'm going to do 20 to 30 minutes on my two projects, but you can do whatever works for you. Post to Instagram with the hashtag meh.march.2020. Okay, so with all of those snow days, I made so much progress. I'm super excited. I finished everything but one of my February projects. <laughs> right? I'm super excited. So we'll just start at the top of the pile, which means which what was finished most recently. I finished the Naughty Gloves. I am super thrilled with how they turned out. So last week, all I had was this much of the first glove. I did not have the thumb. Um, so I did the entire second glove and finished the entire first glove in the past week. Amazing. Not that tricky because once you get past the ribbing and the cable, it's all stuck in it and the round, but digits are fiddly. They're so fiddly. Um, I think they were between 18 and 22 stitches. Oh, maybe the thumb was down here was a little bit more than 22, maybe 23. Um, there's a cat fur on my glove. Anyway, fiddly. I still have to weave in the ends on the inside, so like that hole right there will be closed with an end. Um, it's really only at the pinkies that I have holes. I'm not sure why. For, because I need to weave in those beginning ends, but I'm super, super pleased with how they turned out. There we go. Um, modifications to the pattern. I made the cuff longer. I did 30 rounds before I went into the cable pattern because I wanted a long cuff. I also did 10 rounds of the the cable pattern with ribbing still, which worked out fine because um, with how you're supposed to do the increases for the thumb gusset, still gave me all of the space below my wrist bone of just stockinette. I did slightly let's see for the um, for the thumb gusset you're supposed to do increases every three rounds. I did that about halfway up and then realized that that was just going to add too much space here and I have a loop that I need to pull in with a crochet hook. So then I switched to doing every other round increases. When I did the thumb, I did some short row shaping to um, 
elevate where that I did some short row shaping over here so that it would fit my thumb better and I'm pretty pleased with how it fits uh, there's a little weird bump here uh, these haven't been blocked and I don't necessarily think that everything needs to be blocked but after the season when I wash them because they're going to be sweaty and gross and dirty because the hands are gross and dirty. Um, I think that will make the bump go away. Oh, look at how cute they are. I'm super in love with these. The yarn is Miracle Gen Copper Patina in Sparkle. I just love it. I love them so much. I'm super pleased with them and don't expect to see gloves in the near future because I don't like anybody enough to make them gloves. I also finished the second Baby Diamond Legs by Lisa K. Ross, and last week I had too much of this cuff, so I had to rip back, picked it up, and then worked down the, um, the leg. I took this to the hockey game, and in the future I will take something that's purely vanilla to a hockey game if I can manage it. But I took it to the hockey game and I managed to do I, a couple repeats, I think, at the game. So I was pretty pleased with that progress and it is finished. I, I bought two 50 gram balls of this colorway because I thought it was going to take, well, I wasn't sure how much yarn it was going to take to make these leg warmers. So I have a 50 gram ball. And I have a, so I'm not sure how to refer to this tiny human who's coming into being in August. Uh, maybe my niece, but not really my niece. She's my kid's dad's sister's baby. So I don't know. My, my kid's cousin. My kids are going to have a new cousin. There we go. And she's a girl, and I think I'm going to use the other 50 gram ball to make a newborn vertebrae for her. That's my plan. Uh, I finished the second washcloth. So one of these is the first and one is the second. I don't know which is which, but I finished the second one this week. And I finished... The kitty unicorn, kitty, <laughs> unicorn tube socks modified to look like kitty socks. So this is what I have. I think that I might use this pink yarn and just duplicate stitch like one or two stitches to make little noses for the cats. I think that'll make it more clear that these are cats instead of nothing because they kind of look not they look unfinished to me without a nose so I think I'm gonna do that but um, that'll take like two minutes and I will put in a picture here but these are finished the yarn that I used was Lion Brand Manny Petty in this is the boot colorway I think I think the crew colorway was the one I used for Mara's sock um, this is Premier Serenity sock in purple this is an unknown mini Premier Serenity sock in black, and they are finished. They have the heels in. Last week, I still had a repeat of the color to go in, and I don't know which sock is the first sock in the second sock, but um, yes, I do. This is the first sock because I started with this blue. So I had this much to knit on the tube, then I split the tube, did the, well, then I did the toe on this one, and then I split the tube in half, so it was like this, and it down the toe, I knit the cuff, cuff down, and then grafted it. I just like the way that it looks better. I prefer that in general. So yeah, those are the cat tube socks. On to works in progress. I put in a little bit more work on the double twist by Drew and Borsky. It's not quite 12 inches yet, um, but it's more than seven and a half inches. So maybe 
eight and a half, nine inches long. It's getting there. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough yarn to complete the full square. If I don't, then I will probably pick up and work evenly on the top and the bottom to square it out rather than just adding on to the top of the square. I think that'll look a little more intentional. This is what I have left, so we'll see how far it gets me. Um, this should be finished next week. So you'll know if I had to add on to the top and the bottom. Last up, I did spin a little tiny bit, but not enough to make it worth showing you. So last, I have Cog in the Machine. And it is a DK weight versus the patterns written as a fingering weight. I'm so close to finished. There's about 15 or so, less than 15 repeats. Um, because I said last night on Instagram I had 15 repeats and then I did another one or two. Super close to being finished. What is, what is this fuzzy? Um, so it should be finished today or tomorrow. It depends on how gung-ho I go. I am having a winding party today because it's the first of the month and sometimes I wind all of my yarn on the last day of the previous month or on the first day, first couple days of the new month. Um, you're being too loud, my love. No, I'm not. Your actions are loud. The ripping paper, all the rifling through your supplies. I know it's hard to be very quiet. You're doing okay. Just a little bit quieter. And yesterday I was trying so, so hard to finish the gloves and the shawl. And I only had, I had less than half of the edging complete. I was probably, I think, back here yesterday. So I made a lot of edging progress. And yesterday I had to finish all of the digits. No, I had to finish eight of the digits for the gloves. A little bit of the body of the second glove. Yeah. So really good progress. And um, this should be finished in the next couple days. And I will be casting on all the new things in the next couple days. I will throw up a quick picture of um, what my plans are. Modifications to this. Um, I did end up ripping back. This is so cute. It's gonna be even cuter when it's blocked. So I did end up ripping back. It is only two repeats. See that? Only two cable repeats instead of three. Um, aesthetically, I like the three better, but I didn't want to buy another skein of Dirty Martini. So I probably had about four grams left when I ripped back. And then I used, instead of using in the pattern, you're supposed to alternate this color in with Dirty Martini. I alternated in the top gray color and then Dirty Martini and then started using the border color, which is another another Ba Sheep Sonoma in the Mystique color. Once it's blocked, this will all, these points block really nicely, so it'll be quite a bit longer. It's got a lot of a lot of stuff to see. So this will be a very socially acceptable blanket to wear around. It's quite warm. I feel much warmer now that I have it on. In reading news, I am listening to Star World. I can't remember. I think I said that it was a plan to start a new play away. So Star World is the one that's, that I'm reading, listening to. Uh, it's about two high school girls who both have family, how do I say, um, both of them have family members who are non-neurotypical, so that's kind of interesting, but they're differently non-neurotypical. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I haven't had a lot of times where I prioritize listening to it because I have been home so much, but it's 
really good and I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it this week. I've also been listening to The Nature Principle in my car and The Queen of Nothing, which I am loving so, so much. Um, and again, I haven't had to drive the kids to school, so that's like two days is about an hour of listening time that I didn't have in my car this week. Otherwise, The Queen of Nothing would definitely be finished. I'm liking it so, so much. The trilogy is so good. If you like anything about fairy, the, the land of fairy, not the nice fairies, the like grown-up fairies. <laughs> I've also been reading in physical form Beyond Beautiful, which is interesting and it's about shifting the way that you view your body. And I've also been reading, I don't remember what it's called, by C.S. Friedman. Feast of Souls by C.S. Friedman. It's a very, um, it's the first book in a trilogy and it's about a group of magic users called Magisters and how they get their power. It's a fiction book. So I'm enjoying that a lot. And uh, I don't have plans to start any new books this week because I am not very far in the physical books that I'm reading. Um, and I think I'm about halfway through all of my audiobooks, except The Queen of Nothing. I'm about 70% through that. I hope you had some wonderful moments this week trying to change how I'm saying things uh, because, no. I hope you had some wonderful moments this week. I'm going to take a page out of the Fat Squirrels book and not wish everybody a wonderful week because not every week can be wonderful, but even during not great weeks, I hope you have some wonderful moments. I will see you next week. Bye! That's the story. Excellent. So do you want to show this to everyone? Mm-hmm. Very cool, Mar. And I made it.